Hi everybody, welcome back. Tony again with Shinsho Yoga, and for this week's video, uh, I'd like to read a poem and then talk a little bit about it. It is a poem called No Man is an Island by John Donne. Also known as the uh, Meditation 17 by John Donne. No man is an island entire of itself. Every man is a piece of the continent, a part of the main. If a clod be washed away by the sea, Europe is the less. As well if a promontory were, as well as many manner of thy friends or thine own were. Any man's death diminishes me, because I am involved in mankind, and therefore never send to know for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for thee. Uh, I found that poem from an episode of The Twilight Zone, uh, my favorite episode of The Twilight Zone, called uh, The Changing of the Guard with Donald Pleasance. Uh, it's about a teacher who taught at a uh, boys' school for 50-some-odd years, and uh, he uh, is discharged from the school after 50 years' retirement and comes somewhat sudden. And he was a well-respected teacher at the school, but he's an older man now, and they feel that they want to uh, serve the youth more. And the uh, Donald Pleasant's character who plays his teacher falls into this kind of depression and actually um, tries to kill himself. But in the process, the Twilight Zone steps in and he hears the school bell ringing and comes to the school and comes into his classroom. And uh, all of these ghosts appear of former students who had passed away, who were heroes, who had done things that, you know, other people wouldn't do and or have done. And they all tell him about something that he gave them that led them to be those heroes that they were. And one of them reads that poem, No Man is an, uh, no Man is an Island, and says uh, the part about each man's death diminishes me for I am involved in mankind. Therefore, don't you know, ask for whom the bell tolls, it tolls for thee. The point I would like to bring up about that is the concept of support, right? I'm not going to so much talk about uh, the, the poem so much as the poem goes into that, but the support of no man being an island. And in this, in this scenario, using that Twilight Zone example, these ghosts come back and tell him how much of a difference he made in their life. And by them doing that, it gives him the will to carry on. And he's like, I'm going to retire. I'm going to retire well because I've made a difference in the world. All of us need a support system in our life. right? You, we, you do not do things on your own. right? No one does anything on their own. I'm not talking about the simple tasks. I'm not saying, you know, you know, going to the supermarket or paying your bills or this and that. Uh, I'm talking about the 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 purpose that we all have here in the world, because in a spiritual point of view, and that's what I'm here talking about, we all come to this life, we come to this world for a reason. We all have purpose, right? And the people that are in our lives are there to support us in some way or another. Some of those people that come into our, that are a part of our lives that are very difficult, those challenges are to steer us away from the wrong end and steer us to the right end. Right, uh, but then there are other people that come along or are part of our our um, program of our way of our practice of our purpose that are there to be in a more loving and supporting manner, and we need to find those people in our life because you can't do it alone. Right now, I, I specifically talk about this because I always always because how I was brought up, it was always kind of the one man army thing. Like you got to go and you got to do it. And you do it all yourself. And I was always very prideful that way that I've gotten everywhere on my own. But I can tell you firsthand, and anywhere I've gotten on my own, I always hit a ceiling, and could go no further. Right? No matter what it was, I always got to a certain point. And I couldn't go any further because I always did everything on my own. In order to fulfill your purpose, you are not here to fulfill your purpose on your own. You are here to do it with the help of others, 
no man is an island. Right? We are all part of it together. Now, finding those people in your life that offer you that support may be very challenging. I know it's been for me. right? But sometimes the people that come into our lives that offer us that support aren't necessarily there to be the full support. They're meant to be one of the pieces of the foundation of the support. One of the things that many of us do, and I'm guilty of it myself, is that when you find the one person who you find helpful, you want to make that one person everything. That often happens in relationships, you know, romantic relationships. You try to make your romantic partner the everything in the world when they're not capable of that, right? They may not be capable of it, and most people aren't. Now, if they're your remote romantic partner and you are their partner in life, they're granted their, their duty is going to be higher to you as your duty to them is going to be higher than the everyday person. But they can't be everything. The same thing goes for the people of support in your life. Family, friends. Right? You cannot look to each one of those to, to do everything. You have to look to them to be a part of your support system. Look, uh, I've talked many times with people about the challenges that I had with my mother growing up, and I've worked hard to develop a relationship with her. And believe it or not, my mother is part of my support system at this point. And if you knew my mother and everything that goes on, that would be a wild claim. But she is part of my support system, and there are certain things I can talk to her about. I can talk to my mother about business. That's pretty much it. Other things... Not so much, but I can talk to her about business and we get along on that wavelength and she can be helpful with me, for me, because my mother's ran her own business, her own business my whole life. So there are times, even if it's not her advice that she gives me that is helpful, it's the advice that she gives that I realize that no. The way she said it, the way she handled it, that is not something I would do. Just by her saying, well, I would do it this way, I go, then I'm definitely not doing it that way because I don't agree with that, right? And that is one of the bricks and the foundation of my support system, right? Now, I can't ask her to do other things. Emotional support, mm, she's not that type of person. But that's okay, she's not meant to be. And that's where no man is an island. Right? We have to have these support systems. You cannot do it alone. No one can do it alone because it's not designed for you to do it alone. Everything is designed for us to come together in this world and do it together. Separation has become great in this world. If we want the world to be a loving and kind place, a mindful place, we have to come together. right? And we have to all work together. But we can't take whatever our one problem is and dump it on one person and expect them to handle that. That's not their job. Each person in your support system will have a job, just as you will have a job in your support system for other people. Right? There may be people who want to come to you for things that you're just not capable of. Right? And it's okay to tell them no. You say, hey, that's not really me. I can't do that. Right? But having a role if they are mature enough, right, uh, evolved enough to be able to realize that you have a role and that you can do that role to that ability and do that role well and keep it to that. That's another piece of your support system. I have, again, different family and friends that I have and my circle is small that I talk to about certain things. You know, my cousin is a very spiritual person. She and I often talk about spirituality. Right, so she's one person I can go to for that. I have friends and family, though, that I can't talk to about those things with. They don't, that's not their, that's not their role. So no man is an island. If you are somebody who is always looking to do something on their own, they're going to get there, they're going to be successful, they're going to be their only one, and you're not getting there and you keep hitting a ceiling, right? That glass ceiling, you look up and you go nowhere. Take a look at your support system, right? And if you have people in your life, but you're like, I don't feel they're supporting me the way I need, well, maybe, but are you, are you interacting with them accordingly to their role? Make sure you understand their role and what they're capable of 
in your life. When you can do that and start to not have those expectations of people and just allow them to be you, be them, and support you the way they can, you'll feel, you'll start to see things will work out better for you and you'll definitely feel more supported. I know I have. I've learned, I've learned to come to accept that. Doesn't mean I don't get frustrated with anyone at any time when they can't do the things I want. Uh, I do, like anyone else. But learning the roles that people have, allowing them to be able to work within those roles and support you as they can and you doing the same for them will definitely advance you a lot further than you've been. So, remember, no man is an island. As always, take from that what serves you, get rid of the rest. And that doesn't mean take what's comfortable, get rid of what's uncomfortable, because we often need what's uncomfortable to serve us. That's all for this week. Thanks again for watching. Namaste.